Hi, this is PC Roger. In this short video, what I want to show you is how to determine if your Windows XP computer is directly connected to the internet or if you have a firewall or router of some kind protecting you from the internet. What we're going to do is look at your IP address. And if you don't know how to pull up your IP address, we'll show you a couple ways uh, in, in another video I have, but let's just show you an easy way here. If you click on Start and Control Panel, and go to Network Connections. You can see here you, ha you might have some other connections like 1394, but we're interested in your local area connection. And it says Connected. We'll double click on that and choose the Support tab here. You can see here that our IP address starts with a 10 and then has some other numbers after it. And what we're looking for here are just really the first couple of numbers. But if you write that down, you can know what your IP address is, and then we'll compare it to some others here in just a moment. Here I have a list of private IP address ranges. And what this is, is a list of IP addresses that the internet routers will not route, meaning they are private ranges. They are designed for home networks, office networks, networks that are not to be exposed directly to the internet. So if your IP address begins with 192, dot 168 and then has any other numbers than the last two uh, little slots there. Those are actually referred to as octets, but in those last two X's, that could be any number. But the 192.168, that denotes that it is a private network. And this is typically a default uh, numbering scheme with uh, a lot of, you know, Linksys or D-Link routers, that kind of thing. And it indicates that you do have a private network, and that's a good thing. Now, one of the ones you don't see very often is uh, 172. And the second number can be either 16 or up to 31, and it will be a private number, private network. And these other uh, other x where the x's are can be any number, and it will still be a private range. And then this last number is very common in uh, in office environments and some homes, uh, 10 dot, and then anything else in these slots where the x's are, and that denotes a private IP address, and that's good. It means that you do have a router or a firewall that is protecting you from the internet, and that is typically referred to as your gateway. And that also should have an address in that range. As you can see here on mine, the default gateway is also a private address, begins with a 10. So that means that we do have a router or firewall protecting us. And that's really all I wanted to show you in this uh, short video. If you have a router or a firewall, you have additional protection from a lot of the, of the bad things that could happen to your PC from the internet. If you are directly connected to the internet without a firewall or router of some kind, you, you definitely should have a software firewall, but you are uh, you're giving up a very important layer of protection that you could have in that piece of hardware that would be doing a lot of tasks there for you. But that's it for this video. We've shown you how to find out to what your IP address is and whether or not you have a, a firewall or router of some type protecting you. So please come to my website, www.pcroger.com. I have a lot of other videos and blog posts and articles and other information there to help you out. Hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.